Hello and welcome friends. In marginal costing, now we are going to discuss a very unique point and that is break even analysis in case of a product line with multiple products. That means in this case we need to find out the break even point when the company is dealing with two or more products. In such a case, I am going to give you two very important rules. First of all, check whether the proportion of sales in the question or problem is given. Is it for sales quantity or sales value? If the percentage or proportion of sales quantity is available from the question, then we should find out the weighted contribution per unit by multiplying the product wise contribution per unit by the percentage or proportion of sales quantity. If the percentage or proportion of sales value is available from the problem or question, then we should find out the weighted PV ratio by multiplying the product wise PV ratio by the percentage of sales value. Remember these two rules. In this case, we have to find out contribution, rather weighted contribution per unit because percentage of sales quantity are available. Let us calculate. For that we need contribution per unit that will be selling price minus variable cost and that will be 100 minus 50, 54 A. 80 minus 40, 44 B and 50 minus 20, 34 C. Now multiply this contribution by the percentage of sales quantity. That will give us the weighted contribution per unit. 20% into 50 that is rupees 10. 30% into 40 that is rupees 12. And 50% into 30 that is rupees 15. So it comes to rupees 37. This amount of rupees 37 is called weighted contribution per unit where the percentage of sales quantity have been used as weight. The interpretation of this rupees 37 is if the company makes sales of 100 units of A, B and C in this proportion, the average contribution per unit will be rupees 37. You can verify this by calculating the contribution per unit by assuming sales of 100 units and this proportion. I leave it to you. Now we have weighted contribution per unit. So we can first calculate overall BEP. Overall break even point equals to total fixed cost. Total fixed cost means fixed cost as a uh, whole firm. Fixed cost is always a total amount divided by weighted contribution per unit. The fixed cost given in this question is rupees 14 lakh 80 thousand and our contribution rather weighted contribution per unit is rupees 37. So overall BEP comes to 40 thousand units. What do we mean by overall BEP? Overall BEP means Aggregate sales of all the three products should be 40,000 units in this ratio. Then only the firm can break even at 40,000 units. Now share of each product. In overall BP. That will be A 40,000 units and 20% sales of A, that means 8,000 units of A, B, 30% of 40,000, that means 12,000 units should be sales of B out of total 40,000 and C, 40,000 into 50%, that means 20,000. If the total aggregate sales of 40,000 units is made in this proportion, then only the firm can break even at 40,000 units. This is the interpretation of overall BEP as well as the share of each product in overall BEP. I repeat the rule. When 
the percentage or proportion of sales quantity is available from the question calculate the weighted contribution per unit by multiplying the contribution per unit by the percentage of sales quantity divide it by fixed co uh, fi divide the fixed cost by that weighted uh, contribution per unit the result will be overall bp that should be in the ratio given in the question that's it in the next lecture we are going to calculate revised overall bp if the sales quantity proportion is changed by the company thank you